It's Friday, August 21st, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. The United Kingdom will reopen its embassy in Tehran this weekend after a four-year closure. Britain downgraded relations with Iran in 2011 after protesters stormed the ambassador's residence and burnt the British flag. England's Foreign Secretary Philip Hammond plans to attend the formal reopening. He'll be the first British minister to visit Tehran in nearly 12 years. Relations between Iran and Europe have improved since a nuclear deal was reached last month. Two Filipino Coast Guardsmen held by Islamic militants for nearly three months have escaped. The radical group Abu Saif took the men along with the village leader in May. The two were able to free themselves during a raid on the militant's base in the south by U.S.-trained commandos. Officials say they killed 15 militants and that four other hostages are still missing. Afghanistan has vowed to eradicate polio by the end of the year. More than 70,000 doctors and volunteers carried out prevention work on nearly 8 million children this summer. The Ministry of Public Health says there's only been seven reported cases so far in 2015, compared to 28 last year. The World Health Organization has warned Afghanistan that it must increase efforts to halt the spread of the crippling virus. Mexican authorities will deploy drones and marines to protect endangered turtles in the country's southwest. There's been a recent surge in egg poaching of the olive ridley turtle on two beaches in Oaxaca. The animals return to the coast every year to lay their eggs, and poachers have been filmed stealing hundreds of them in broad daylight. The sale of turtle meat and eggs was banned more than 20 years ago, but a hefty jail sentence hasn't deterred the practice. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. We decided to increase the readiness and the preparedness of our forces. So we are now implementing the biggest reinforcement of our collective defense since the end of the Cold War. We don't see confrontation with Russia, but then Russia has to respect the borders of its neighbors. And that's exactly what Russia didn't do in Ukraine.